Multiplex Western blotting requires careful choice of unconjugated primary antibodies in combination with selected secondary antibodies. In this video, we discuss the selection of the secondary antibodies. Primary antibody selection is covered in a separate video. Use the correct secondary antibodies to detect your primary antibodies. This will either be species-specific, class-specific, or isotype-specific, depending on your multiplexing approach. Do not use secondary antibodies raised in the same species as any of your primary antibodies when using a species-specific approach. Ensure specificity of your staining by using cross-adsorbed secondary antibodies to prevent cross-reaction with the primary antibody. The cross-absorbed antibody will correctly bind the target primary antibody, but will not cross-react with the primary antibody from the related species. Check that your different detection methods for your secondary antibodies can be individually distinguished by your imager. Include appropriate experimental controls, including a secondary antibody-only control. To further support your secondary antibody choice, Download our Secondary Antibodies Guide. It explains step-by-step step what you need to know, what you need to do, and how to do it. Also, see our overview on multiplex fluorescent western blotting to discover how this technique can benefit your research. We make the tools, you make the discoveries.